thing is bleeding away. That's the way it's just going to have to be. This thing here is just full of these, these blobs. And it's my moment is just it's bleeding away. I blasted it with the the water pick, unfortunately, which is, you know, kind of dumb. So in order to undo it, I can't let it stop bleeding. I have to just keep bleeding it until, it's, until it bleeds out. I'm bleeding out this abscess on the inside of this wisdom tooth. You just keep bleeding and bleeding and bleeding. So it's got, there's something going on there. I don't know exactly what, but I suspect it's sort of spread. Just keep bleeding it out. I was going to stop, but I decided this thing is just too severe. The only solution is the bleeding. And unfortunately, you know, I'm going to lose some blood, but hopefully it won't cause me any issues. If I have to, I'll just go to bed. I just drank some water as much as I could. I'm not sure how much. So anyway, this is sort of bizarre, that's for sure. I sort of had this feeling it was a little swollen. Another giant blob. I guess, you know, maybe I just sort of gotten those teeth pulled. Maybe that was the problem. I sort of gone and seen my periodontist, huh? So anyway, so here's a bunch of blobs. So this is about roughly about five, five pretty large blobs. I should definitely go see somebody pretty soon. So basically what happened is the, the scraping that I did on the wisdom tooth turned into a, an exit path for the um, abscess, some deeper abscess that's in there somewhere. And it's probably just going to bleed and bleed for a while. It's got its exit, so it's just going to bleed. How can there possibly be so many of these things? Okay, but there are. Okay, so here, let's take a look at this. So this is another four fairly large blobs, huh? And then just same thing, just keep going. Not much mystery here, really. See, it's just going to keep bleeding and bleeding. Okay, so if you think about it, the original source here is the is this tooth that got pulled. Okay, so here's another two giant blobs. So like I said, just keep bleeding. And that's it. No mystery. Hmm. Same thing. Hmm. See, eventually it's going to run out of blobs. It's just, it's just as simple as that. You know, there may be some blobs left over. That's possible, but quite likely, what's going to happen is they're all just going to pop right out of that hole. That's what's going to happen. Like I said, there's this thing, this thing is so bizarre, it would really be foolish of me to stop bleeding it. And you know, and I can just say bleeding is the right thing to do. Okay, so here are roughly four giant blobs. Let's put it this way, certainly not bleeding it is the wrong thing to do. That's for sure. And then, you know, it's sort of weird because I blasted it with the, I didn't even blast it for that hard, but the, the shock wave or something really hurts. So this thing must be like real deep. I suspect it's in my neck somewhere. It's who's to say what's going to happen, but definitely take that. The doxycycline, that's for sure. And then bleed it out as completely as possible. And then I'm going to go step your season with it. That's what I think. See, the weird thing was, was that See, I, I bled it, and I thought it was going to stop, and now it just seems it's going to keep going and going at this point. Something real deep in there 
here's another four blobs. So that's all right for you know hanging on to these teeth. That was certainly disgusting, wasn't it? Huh? Okay, that was really good. Hmm? This is like pretty disgusting, huh? I mean, that was a pretty major release, I'll tell you that. That was a, that was a lot. That was like six or seven major blobs. Hey, check this thing out. It's like totally disgusting. It's got... A, okay, so this stuff getting released was pretty important. See, now this thing hurts. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Take some more ibuprofen. Probably take another one of those doxies. And then just keep going. Same thing. Just go, go, go.